Hey, welcome back. This is Captain Ron. Uh, we're going to work on the systems, the brake system this time, the rotor brake system on the uh, Auto Gyro series models. Uh, if you notice, there's a fixed brake shoe. Now, this, this configuration is, is only in the MTO 2017. The, the older style MTO does not have this forward fixed brake shoe on it. And this definitely assists you in stopping the rotors after you've, uh, you know, completed your final landing. Now there's a, and we've orientated the rotor blades across the aircraft to make it a little easier because you're going to have to visualize the rotor head forward and aft. And uh, so we're in the aft position in the flight mode. So you come, you come in, make your final landing, you flare, the cyclic is pretty much in the full aft position. Now at this point, when you come to a full stop, then you would actually have to switch, to select the switch from, from flight mode to brake. And when you do that, that reroutes the air into, into this cylinder back here, which is the double acting cylinder. So uh, once you activate in the brake system, this cylinder pushes up and it engages this rotor brake here, which looks like it's engaged now, but it isn't. It pushes the rotor brake up and at the same time pushes the rotor head forward and onto this front fixed brake shoe. And I'll activate it and show you how to do it. All right, we go to brake. And, and by the way, we use the F, this trim, this is your, this is your, this will activate and pressurize your rotor brake system. Now, have you noticed, as I touch it, it pushes the stick forward. And if you look at that brake shoe back there, it re when you flip it on brake, it engages the brake shoe into the back of the, the road ahead, pushes the cyclic and the road to disc forward, and touches this brake shoe and you have additional braking to slow the rotors down. Remember, this air cylinder, when it's in the brake mode, is pushing up against this ring gear and the disc underneath the ring gear to help stop the rotors. Now, if you want additional braking, at this point, you don't have full pressure on this front fixed brake shoe. To get that, if, if the, when the rotors start slowing down and you want to stop them in a specific position, then you would push forward. There's a little play on the stick. You, you, you push forward that additional forward pressure, and this will put more pressure on that fixed brake shoe and stop your rotors pretty much if you're lucky in the position you want them to be. Okay. Okay, the rotor brake system. Uh, it's, it's like I explained in the static display. Uh, once you finally land, your, your final landing, you come to a full stop, the selector switch is still on flight. You would then flip it to brake. And that that will release all air pressure that you had in aft trim on your landing so you don't have to fight the cyclic and then you push the cyclic full forward and you let the I usually wait until the rotors reach about a hundred rpm as they're slowing down and then I'll start using the top hat button on the joystick you pull it back at that point hold it back and that pressurizes the brake system, pushes that brake shoe up against that, that disc up, and then slow the rotor blades down. Now when they get to a certain point, like right here, and you want to stop them at a specific point, you can actually add additional forward pressure on the cyclic. See that, that extra play? And that puts pressure on the forward fixed brake shoe. And then your rotor blades will stop, hopefully in the position forward and aft. They don't have to be forward and aft, but it's, it's a lot easier to taxi that way in the wind conditions because if the blades are off to the side, 
the, the wind pushes the cyclic oh, way over to the left or the right, and it's just kind of awkward and uncomfortable, but it's, it's not uh, a problem uh, for taxiing. 